the whole idea of poorly managed conference. I don't know if there's a poorly managed conference or a conference that you look at not going where you want it to go. So you have, you have to be flexible. I mean, what I have found is the more I confer, the better I am at saying, okay, this is where we're going. The decision is the students, um, he takes the lead in the conference so that I'm not always in control. And I think that, um, that poorly managed just comes from all of those other factors that are involved. I mean, what, what causes it to be poorly managed? It could be because the kids on the other side of the room aren't doing something that's, um, that's wise and thoughtful and m meaningful learning, so you have to stop. And, and that's something I never do. I mean, uh, I, when a child walks up to me to interrupt a conference, I'll, I'll look the, the conferee, the student I'm conferring with in the eye and say, you know, I know Johnny's gonna come back when we're finished with this conference because right now it's your time and I don't even look up. And a lot of teachers um, that I've observed will stop and talk to that student. But, I, but I've taught my kids that, that that time when we're together is their time. And then immediately I go up when we're finished with the conference and say, what did you need? And it's usually something like, oh, I needed a pencil or, or something like that. So um, I don't know if there's such thing as a poorly managed conference. I think it's um, a poorly managed classroom, perhaps, that causes that not to work.